I chose maritime was because of all of the opportunities that are presented here. I knew I wanted to study engineering, so people actually recommended that I would come check out maritime. And when I did, I saw that they had a ship and like I instantly fell in love. I was like, this is such a unique yeah. opportunity. And I was like, how can you pass that up? Why did you choose maritime? Yeah, I, you know, I chose the same thing as you, you know, those unique opportunities it has here. And also too, you know, being able to go out and explore and, you know, go on a ship and it was really right. cool and interesting to me too. And uh, also, the unique opportunities with getting that degree of like your know, marine transportation, you know, going into logistics. And I thought that was pretty interesting as well. Right, most of the majors that are offered here are not popular majors at other schools. Right. Marine transportation, international transportation and trade, marine engineering, naval arc, they're all such unique to this school and they're not really that broad at different schools either. Yeah, no, I think it's a great opportunity here and I'm looking forward to everything that has op had to offer. My mud cruise was unbelievable. I mean, the very first time I got on the ship, I didn't know really what to expect. I was super nervous because, you know, being on the bridge, I didn't, you know, learning about the equipment and, uh, you know, plotting, it's like we did everything in the classroom. So actually applying it to a practicality was really like a wake up call. I was like, oh, wow, this is really cool that we actually get to, you know, plot courses and see where we're heading. And also, too, when we went to like the list of ports like Azores, was absolutely beautiful. I never even knew that that was even in the ocean where we right. were on the Atlantic. I didn't even think that was there. But other than that, it was uh, an absolutely great experience. Mug Cruise for me, initially, I was like petrified. I did not know what to expect. I had no idea what was I was getting thrown into. But then we arrived in Scotland and my first watch that I stood on the ship was departure watch. So oh everything was going on in the engine room, like the bridge was calling down to us, trying to get the ship up to speed, maneuvering, everything. So that was like, as soon as I got there, it was like jump right into it and go. And like, it was amazing. Like it kind of made all my nerves go away because everything I learned in my intro to ship systems class in the spring, I applied right there during that first watch. It became real hands-on operational experience and you can't really pass that up it was awesome yeah it's great it yeah awesome. plus you know too is like you with your ship systems class it's like you were doing things in the class and now you're applying it to what you're doing practically which is a, a great experience. right and it's probably the same with TNAP you're applying courses right. and everything like that so it's it translates directly my mug cruise, we went to Scotland, Italy, the Azores, and I think you did as well, but my favorite port from there was definitely Gaeta in Italy because we were able to enjoy time on the beach there, but we also were close enough that we were able to take that trip to Rome. I don't know if you... Yeah, we did the Rome trip. That yeah, was we got neat. bus there, and that was totally yeah. awesome. We saw everything it had to offer. It was really cool. That was Rome was definitely my favorite. Okay. Yeah, I think Rome was great and also too being in Azores was yeah. absolutely incredible. Like the beaches, like black it was sand beaches. It was absolutely beautiful. Um, also too, I don't know if you went to the hot spring. I did. That yes. was really cool. Yeah. It was like your, I think, uh, what was it like a 30 minute trip, like going through the mountains and then right, you could yeah. see like those two giant like lakes. It's like that were different green. colors. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought that was really amazing too. And it's cool too because you get to tell your friends back home. It's like, oh, where do you get to go? I was like, oh, I went right. to Gaeta. Yeah. yeah, I crossed the Atlantic yeah. Ocean this summer. What did you do? Right, yeah. yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, it's definitely unique. Uh, biggest takeaway I got from cruise was definitely being confident. Uh, you know, being able to stand on the bridge for the very first time was nerve wracking. You know, I had Captain Stocking as my watch officer and everyone knows it's like, you know, every, you gotta stay on top of everything. You know, he's gonna test you on your skills. And I was nervous about that, but you know, once we started to really understand the fundamentals and what he wanted to be asked, or at least what he's trying to teach you, you understand that concept and he's, that's what he was really trying to show you. And I think it was that sense of, you know, understanding the fundamentals of getting everything that you learned in your class and taking off of that was great. Right, we're all there for the same reason to learn and to get our license. So everyone around you just also wants us to be, do well and succeed. and. The confidence we gain from other people supporting us and helping us and learning, actually practically seeing something happen as opposed to on um, PowerPoints in a classroom, right. it's like, it's very like confidence boosting. You know, you feel sure of yourself and everything that you've learned and 
like I said, the people on the ship want you to succeed. And right. being on the ship, you build these friendships and that sense of camaraderie that you get from being out there. Absolutely. And then the hands-on experience in itself. I mean, you can't beat it. You know, doing everything with, you know, even with your friends, you know, you do the classes, the seamanship lab, at least for me, and the deck department. I know you guys have your engineering. I don't know what you guys do. Your labs, yeah. Your labs, too. But, uh, and also another big takeaway, too, is, you know, being prepared. You yeah. Know, you know, having a notepad and a pen and ready to go. Like, you know, I think that's a good thing to be, when I got off, it's like I need to be more prepared and, like, have everything ready to go. Right, you got to show up ready to work, ready right. to go, and exactly. Cruise definitely <laughs> makes you realize oh, that. Yeah. yeah. Cruise has been an experience that has definitely laid the foundation that I need to be confident in my skills, in my hands-on learning, to utilize my license after I graduate, and that's definitely what I want to do. I do want to ship out, and I do want to sail my license as soon as possible. Where do you want to ship out? Honestly, I'm not really sure yet, but... I know that's what I want to do, and that's the direction I'm going to take. What about you? I think, you know, being open to whatever, I mean, right. is if it's going to be a lower position, that's okay, because, you know, at the end of the day, you got to work up to where you want to be. Absolutely. And I think it's okay to be able to set and accept a lower position, even though you had the license, doesn't necessarily mean, you know, you jump right in that position. I think that's an important thing to talk about as well, is that, yes, we're prepared, but I think it's good to really start at the bottom and re relate with other people and then you get that more confidence that we've had. Right, just so, like we did here. We started right. at the bottom and then we slowly work ourselves up into exactly. utilizing our license and going for our chief's license or our master's license. And, Absolutely. Yeah. This summer is a unique opportunity because we will have all four classes of cadets participating in summer sea term, which is 134 days out at sea. We greatly appreciate any financial contributions that are made to the Summer Sea Term Scholarship Fund. On behalf of the Regiment of Cadets, Cassie and I would like to thank everyone who has already donated, and if you can, please give to the Summer Sea Term Scholarship Fund. Thank you.